what's up everybody my name is Sumit and welcome to the dark world of Vision CG no I'm just kidding it's really colorful over here we got all sets of color from light gray to dark gray and even the color that Batman prefers so I saw this new trailer of Tom and army of Jerry and even though I was trying hard to find the father but all I got was mummy who got some real eye issues but it's normal nowadays like if you're a guy and so many girls are passing by it's not just guy, even girls do that. Like, hey girl, look, 80% discount on your favorite brand. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, Vision CG just crossed 100 subscriber mark. So, thank you everyone who supported me. And if you're not subscribed yet, you see the red 60 subscribe button down there? Just smack that button so it turns white. And also, press the bell icon to stay updated. If you subscribe, then thank you. It means a lot. And I uh, hope you enjoy my tutorials. And uh, keep up with all your support cause that will help me keep motivated for making more videos for you. Today we are going to be taking a look at creating some cool eye display effects right in After Effects without any third party plugin. First let's clear out the concept. What is required for this tutorial? An eyeball. You can either take a fork and just remove your eyeball. But caution, clean the fork before you use it and also use it under close supervision of someone younger than 5 years old. This way they won't stop you and also use it properly or you will end up losing your fork and you don't want to do that. No, no, no. If you can't do that then don't worry, After Effects got your back. All we need is a white sphere with a nerve pattern and iris with a split effect animation on top and both of them sharing the same reflection map but with a different reflectivity value. So enough with all the chats and let's begin. This is the new comp. Let me import the textures and the clip that I'll be using. Let's drag the footage to create a new comp. By the way, this is me with some award winning expression like this. Look at this. Amazing. These are my comp settings. What we will do is we will create a 3D eye and then import it over here and place it properly with the track mask. Let's rename this. Now let's create the eye. Create a new comp, change the resolution and make it square comp. Call it main 3D eye. Import the iris texture and keep it as it is. Create a new pale red solid. This will be the eyeball texture without the iris. Now let's pre comp both these layers separately. And whatever animation we want to do, we will do in its own comp. Let me close this. We will create this step by step. First we will create the eyeball with the nose pattern and no iris. I will lock this comp and double click on the comp to open it and keep it side by side so that you will understand what is happening in the other comp and how it will appear in the main comp. I have this nerve pattern, I'll drag it over here. In order to get that sphere, we have an effect called CC sphere. In the main comp, I'll apply the CC sphere. So this is how our eyeball will look like. In the background comp, we will scale and rotate the layer so that it will look good over here. If you notice, eye is not completely white. You can see that there is some redness around the corner. We can achieve this by creating some radial type gradients to give that red edge. Create a new solid with the size of 200 by 200 pixel and this color code. You're gonna have to use some different color code depending on your shot. What you can do is you can use the eyedropper and pick the color from the corner of the eye. This way you can get the exact color for your shot. Now we want it to be round and not square. Hit Q on the keyboard and you can see that the shape tool is selected. Quick tip, click on Q button again and again and you can browse through all the shapes. So this is the ellipse tool that I want. So because we have created a perfect square solid and we want a perfect circle, you can just double click on the ellipse tool and a round mask will be created. We want this to be a ring like structure but the inner side will be slowly fading in the center. So duplicate the mask and change it to subtract. Contract the mask and give it a feather value. Duplicate the layer and change the color. Bring down the opacity. Scale down on Y axis. This way we get a nice eyeball texture. Now all we have to do is place the nose texture properly. I'm just duplicating and experimenting with the position and the scale value and also bringing down the opacity. 
Notice that it will look strange if you place it like this. You have to scale it on either X or Y axis depending on the position to make it look normal in the main comp. Ok so this looks good. So the eyeball texture is done. All we have to do is add the iris. So go back to the main comp and we are just gonna copy and paste the sphere effect. Now both the comp have the same sphere effect. So now we can work on the iris part. Double click on the comp to open. We can see that the iris texture is larger than our comp size. So we have to scale it down but with a trick. I will pre comp the texture again and edit this texture there. And in this comp I will perform the split effect animation. Just scale it down to 10%. Just for the reference I will show you how I am gonna create the split effect. Type in mirror. The way this effect work is. This point is the reflection point and by default it is always placed on the right edge of the layer and it will show reflection within the boundary of the layer of the comp on which it is applied. Let me drag and show you what I mean. In order to show the complete eye we need to increase the comp resolution. So double click on the comp. Instead of scaling it down we will increase the comp size. For this texture I need the height of 1000 pixel and width will be 3 times the size of the height that is 3000 pixels. We need the width to be fairly wide enough for our iris to move along the x axis either left or right. You can see white background we are gonna remove it by using the ellipse mask. And no you cannot just double click on the ellipse tool to get the perfect round mask because the comp is not square. You will end up with a squeeze circle called ellipse. If you want you can first create the square comp, apply the mask and then you can increase the comp width. Now select the ellipse tool. Keep it near the center, hold Ctrl and Shift while making a circle in the center and then if you want to move the mask while making the selection you can just press and hold the space bar and you can move the mask at the same time. I don't like the color of the iris so I'm gonna make some color adjustment. I want it to be like a brown or golden like color and more contrasting. This color part is optional but you will need these two effects for the iris part so that it somewhat blends with the eyeball. Apply stroke so you get an outline. Use a dark color from the center of the iris. Increase the scale value and make the edge soft. Apply the roughen edge. This is not much visible effect but it will still affect the look of the iris. Now I want this iris to be more contrasting so duplicate the layer. Change the mask edge and the feather value and remove the stroke and rough edge effect. And change the blending mode to soft edge. You can see that the iris look more stretched on the x axis. So quick way to fix that is select both the iris, hit S for the scale, uncheck the lock icon and on x axis scale it down to 50. There you go. Now let's create the animation for the split effect. This is how we are gonna do this. First keep the reflection center at the center of the iris. Keyframe it. Hit P for the position and add a key. And hit U to see both the option. Move to the last frame. And move the reflection point to the right side. At the same time we want this layer to move toward the left side. So this will help us to keep both the iris in the center of the screen. Easy is them. We are done here. Now move back to the main icon. Here we have to adjust few settings so also adding reflectivity. Benefit of using CC Sphere is that it allows us to use a custom image as a reflection map. To do that, import the texture you want. In CC Sphere under shading option you can see this. Click on it, select the layer that you have imported to be used as a reflection map and done. Cool isn't it? Once you load up the reflection map you need to tweak some settings. Follow these settings. It all comes down to reflectivity amount. This looks good. Now copy and paste the effect on the iris comp. So here comes the question. If you want both the comps to share the same effect then why not to apply it on a main comp. Thing is that the iris part is more reflective as compared to the rest of the portion of the eyeball. So when you apply this effect on both the comps separately you have more control over the reflection amount. Select the iris layer. 
and increase the reflectivity amount okay so we are hundred percent done making this 3d eye without any third party plugin congratulations now in the main character comp I know it is not perfect shot for this kind of effect but I had no choice originally my friend was supposed to be the model for this tutorial but you know me I prefer practical effect wherever possible so remember I told you that you can use a fork to remove the eye my plan was to get the four iris and two eyeballs and place two iris on each eyeball so I invited my friend and explained him my concept and I went to bring the fork but when I came back he was gone already probably backed out I don't know why Anyway, we have to place our eyeball that we have just created. What I did is, I keyed out the background, we are gonna track the position of the eye, then use the mask to replace using the matte technique, select the clip, track motion. If you don't find it, it will be available under the animation. Select track motion. I just need position track value. I am gonna create a null and apply the track value to the null. Edit target, null track backwards once it's done hit apply I'm gonna create a mask so create a new solid take a pick whip and parent it to the null I'm just bringing down the opacity for a change so that we can see the background use the pen tool and mask out the visible portion of the eye because it is following the track we don't have to worry about the position but we're gonna match the eye movement so use the keyframe for the mask path and change the mask shape where it is required. You can take all the time to make the mask accurate. Give some feather value to the mask. Import the eyeball and place it accordingly. And also parent this to the null. Keep the 3D eye below the mask and change it to alpha match. This mask will act like a window for our 3D eye layer, but still to make it look good, we need to apply some shading around the edges. So take the copy of the mask and remember the way I created the ring for the eye? I'm going to apply same technique over here. Change the mask color using eyedropper to match the skin shade and feather it out. If you want to be more fancy, you can create shape like this and <laughs> I don't know why but this reminds me of Orochimaru. Repeat the same step, parent it to the null and change the mask shape when needed. If you want, you can leave it here but to make it look more dramatic, I'm gonna do some color correction and some blur effects. For those who want a quick effect set, then there is an effect for you all that will help you with all the elements that you need for color grading. Type in Lumetric Color. If you don't find it in your After Effects, then you should probably throw your system or either you can upgrade your After Effects, choice is yours. Lumetric Color comes in with all the basic editing elements that you need like changing contrast, vibrance, tone, sharpener, curves, vignette, everything that you need for color grading. Again, this part is up to you how you want to color grade your scene and the last option is to apply the camera blur. So do we get the comp? Apply camera blur. What we want is the entire scene to be blur except our eyes. So use the mask to subtract the blur around the eyes and feather it out. So that's it guys. Hope you learned something from this tutorial. Leave a like on this video and uh, comment. Comment guys. You don't do that. I'm gonna know what should I do to make this tutorial better or if you find this tutorial helpful or not. I know you guys are watching this tutorial so leave a response that will be great. I'll be waiting for that. So see you next time. Till then stay awesome.